You've heard a lot about New Mexico's recent law legalizing marijuana, but there is one section of that new statute that you have not heard about. According to the results of a Larry Barker investigation, it's got some convicted felons doing high fives. Here's Larry's investigation, the marijuana loophole. Why is everybody going to want a recreational marijuana license? Oh my God, you're an instant millionaire. It's better than winning the lottery. <laughs> down. It's been one of New Mexico's most controversial issues. This spring, state lawmakers legalized recreational marijuana and the governor made it official. I hereby sign House Bill 2, Recreational Adult Use Cannabis. As the state builds a regulatory framework for the newly created industry, expect retail outlets peddling everything from Purple Punch to Maui Waui to start potting up all over New Mexico. Now, anyone lucky enough to secure a state cannabis producer's license is practically guaranteed to earn a ton of money. So to guard against fraud and abuse, there are safeguards built in the licensing process. For example, the state cannot license anyone with a felony conviction for offenses like fraud, embezzlement, or trafficking of a controlled substance. However, under new rules adopted by the state, marijuana is no longer considered a controlled substance. It's a loophole created by lawmakers that allows some convicted drug traffickers to get a state license to legally peddle pot through retail outlets. That is the drug cartel dream. State Rep Bill Ream is a retired law enforcement officer. A drug cartel can now be licensed in New Mexico to sell marijuana. It's all there, tucked away in the fine print. The state cannot deny licensing an applicant just because they've been convicted of a marijuana-related crime. You could be head of the cartel and be caught and convicted of trafficking in truckloads of marijuana, and you could still be licensed by the state for recreational cannabis. That's the way, yeah, that's the way we wrote it. State Senator Jerry Ortiz Pino was involved in drafting the recreational cannabis bill. It's hard to justify excluding somebody who did something that was illegal before July 1, but now wouldn't be illegal. Case in point, Gabriel Bethel. In 1996, Bethel and three others were indicted by a federal grand jury on drug trafficking charges. Bethel later pleaded guilty to conspiracy to distribute more than 100 kilos of marijuana. And he was sentenced to serve 46 months in a federal penitentiary. In court documents, Bethel admitted being accountable for about three quarters of a ton of marijuana. Following release from prison, Bethel showed up in New Mexico. Today, he is listed as president of a licensed medical marijuana facility called the Harvest Foundation. The organization has outlets in Santa Fe and Albuquerque. Now, the Harvest Foundation has submitted an application to produce recreational marijuana. As an officer of the company, Gabe Bethel will also need to be licensed. However, according to the new law, the state cannot deny a license to Bethel just because he has a felony marijuana conviction. This issue coming up should really shine a light on why we need to take our time when passing legislation such as the Cannabis Regulation Act. State Senator Cliff Pirtle says convicted drug traffickers should not be licensed by the state. He voted against the 177-page legislative initiative. It was rushed through. There were plenty of legislators who had not seen it the night before the special session. And that's how you end up with paragraphs like this. The unintended consequences of having to rush something through just for the headlines. Under the new law, all marijuana offenses have been removed from the criminal statutes. Today, 
If a state police officer stops a tractor trailer rig full of marijuana, what penalty does that driver pose? Under the current law, it's a $50 fine. There is no law in New Mexico for uh, distribution of marijuana. It is gone, it is off the books. Now under New Mexico's Liquor Control Act, anyone convicted of a felony crime is barred from getting a liquor license. However, under the new Recreational Cannabis Act, the state must deny licenses for fraud, embezzlement, and certain drug convictions. There is no stated prohibition against licensing convicted murderers, rapists, or armed robbers from setting up shop to sell marijuana. But the way the Regulation Act, the Cannabis Regulation Act is written and signed into law, the law enforcement will have almost zero ability to crack down on cartels and the illicit market um, because of the way it was written. Retail outlets will begin selling recreational marijuana next April. Larry Barker, KRQE News 13.